Next, I'd like to invite Alicia Olson to come up. She is the Students for Life of America community organizer here in St. Paul. Alicia, if you'd come and share. Hi, my name is Alicia Olson, and it is such an honor. Oh, there we go. Sorry, I'm short. Um, and it's such an honor to talk to all of you today. Um, on January 26, 2006, a baby boy was born. Be born at just 23 weeks gestation, here's the length of an unsharpened HB wooden pencil. It was discovered that his mom was leaving the state to abort him because she was past viability in her state. In a series of events, she was hospitalized and he was born. In 1973, Roe v. Wade legalized abortion in every state before a baby is considered viable. Viability is considered to be between 21 and 28 weeks. Today, the Supreme Court is hearing a case that strikes at the very core of Roe v. Wade. The Supreme Court is hearing oral arguments on Dobbs v. Jackson Women's Health Organization, a Mississippi law that would prohibit abortions after 15 weeks. More than 60 million children who were denied the right to life. And it's one thing to hear that statistic and nod and stand here today agreeing that abortion is wrong and harmful. But being pro-life is not a title, it's an action. And that is why I am pro-life. That baby boy in the opening story, who in a majority of states isn't considered viable, is my younger brother. And he had 10 fingers and 10 toes and DNA completely different than any other human being. As a Christian, I believe he is created in the image of God, fearfully and wonderfully. He has every right to life, and that is why we are actively being pro-life. God saved my little brother, and he brought him into our family through adoption. But over 60 million children have been denied that same right in the name of choice. I got involved in the pro-life movement when I was 16, and I have had conversations with women who are considering abortion um, or who have had abortion. And one thing that a lot of them have said is they wish they had resources and help because they didn't know where to turn to other than abortion facilities. And it's with great joy that I share with you today that I've had the privilege of actively serving women in my own community as the Twin Cities community organizer for the campaign for abortion free cities. The Campaign for Abortion-Free Cities exists to directly reduce abortions in our cities and shift public opinion on the abortion issue. In the same way that we want our cities to be violence-free and crime-free and drug-free, we want our cities to be abortion-free. We demand that our cities be abortion-free. We know that abortion hurts women and children, so why tolerate it in our sounds? We all deserve better than abortion, so let's protect our families and empower our communities against abortion violence. One way that we seek to make our cities abortion free is through door to door efforts by going door knocking and neighbor to neighbor sharing with them life saving alternatives to the pregnancy help centers. I've talked with many people, and one thing that I've found is a lot of them don't even know about crisis pregnancy centers that are down the street from them. Through our door-knocking efforts, the Campaign for Abortion-Free Cities promotes Standing With You, which is the supportive service arm of Students for Life, which exists to build the bridge between abortion-minded women on campuses and in our community with pregnancy health organizations. It has been a great privilege to work with these pregnancy resource centers and have the opportunity to inform the Twin Cities community about their amazing resources and care. Our goal is to build up the community, support women, and not serve them by means of violence, but with hope. With our efforts in the campaign for abortion-free cities, we will make the Twin Cities abortion-free. And if you want to get actively involved in the pro-life movement, then join us in our local campaign. We seek to serve, advocate, and educate our community through means of door knocking, church partnerships, campus partnerships, and with an increase in sidewalk advocacy. Our mission is to reach the community and change hearts on abortion until it not only becomes illegal, but unthinkable. Life is innately valuable. 
Psalm 139, 13 through 14 says, For you formed my inward parts. You knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well. And that is why we do what we do. Because every life deserves a voice and every child deserves a chance. Thank you. Yeah.